Hello friends and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode I'll show you around the uh, Mamiya or Mamaya, some people pronounce it differently, the 645. This is a medium format camera and in medium format generally the the size of the negative is telegraphed in the name, right? So 645 is 6 by 4 and a half. Now it's not a true 6 by 4 and a half, but it's close. And cameras that are called 670 is 6 by 7, 680 generally is 6 by 8, and 690 is 6 by 9. This is kind of strange. The ones that are not telegraphed is generally the 6 by 6 camera. That's not usually telegraphed in the name like a 66 or something similar. But a 645 is the 6 by 4.5 negative, okay? So let's get started. I'll walk you around the camera. This is uh, the lens. It's got a beautifully warm lens. This lens behaves like a 1.4 Nikon N lens, the nano crystal coated. These, the images that come from this camera are beautifully warm. And this is an 80 millimeter 2.8 lens. In, in medium format, uh, 80, 80 millimeters is pretty much like a 50 and 35 or full frame. Okay, so let me show you some of the different uh, buttons and stuff. So here I have that the shutter is locked when the indicator is on the red. If you turn it to the white, it means the, the shutter is active and it's ready to be fired. And one more click over here to the little clock is obviously the self-timer, okay? So I'll turn it back to off. Over here is a battery check. You push the button, right? And then the, this illuminates and lets you know that the battery in the camera is good. Moving on, I'll show you the waist level viewfinder. Let me take the lens cap back off so you can so you can see through it. So let me open this. So there, it's a beautiful, beautifully clear uh, focus screen. It's just wonderfully clear. Uh, and there's no problem at all acquiring focus with that focus screen. So I'll, show, I'll start here on the left side. I'll move to the left side of the camera. Here we have the hot shoe. It is a hot shoe also, not a cold shoe. You can see the electrical contacts there. Here's your sync cable port if you want to do strobe photography and run the old-fashioned manual cable to your strobe. This is a mirror lockup, the lug, lug strap for your the camera, of course. This is to release the lens, and here is an auxiliary release. Okay, this is a release port. This is to this button here is to take the back off. If you want interchangeable film backs like in the Hasselblad, right? So let's say you're out and you have different films, right? You don't want to completely exhaust the roll. You, you know, you're stuck like a TLR. You're stuck in one roll of film. Here you can swap out your back, right? Swap out your back and then you change it out. There's your shutter curtain. There's the dark slide. So let's say this was Portra and I want to use HP5+. Plus. I just pop in my other other film back and I'm good to go okay so this here is kind of neat this opens the back so that if you if you don't want to use interchangeable film backs let's say you're just using one and one you're going one film one roll by one roll there's no need to use the the interchangeable film back you just use this you load your film put it back in close and you're good to go you don't really need to take off the entire interchangeable film back okay this is the dark slide Okay, this is to protect your film while you're shooting. You can put it in here in this slot, this little retaining slot. Okay, that's where you put it in there while you're shooting. When you're done shooting, you take it back out, put it back into where it normally belongs, and you're protecting your film from, from accidental exposure to light. Okay, reminder slot. You can put a little piece of cardboard, a piece of index card, or something here to tell you what type of film is in the camera. Uh, this is another lug strap. Of course, this is for a multi, right? If you want to do one one frame per per exposure or multiple, you want to get creative. What happens is it's just you just cock the shutter and you won't advance the film, so you get two exposures on the same frame. This is the crank, film crank, film advance. I never use the crank itself. That's too much torque. You don't need that. I think it's actually dangerous for the for the camera. I just leave it like this and turn it in this manner. I don't actually use the entire crank portion. Uh, let's see what else. Then we have the tripod socket, and the battery. And I think I've covered everything. Oh no, I haven't on the top. So this is for your film speed. You set your film speed, and this is the shutter selector, shutter speed selector. So this is the shutter speed, and here is the actual shutter itself to fire the shutter. Okay. So wonderful camera. I am just 
Just kind of final thoughts before I roll in the images. I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this camera. This is probably, and I mean this in all sincerity, this is probably the best camera I've ever used. It's the it's the sharpest. The, the images from here are just phenomenal. I just cannot preach enough on the, the, the virtues of this camera. It's just phenomenal. The, the clarity of the focus screen, the ease of use, and, and more than anything, right, when we talk about photography, it's, it's the resulting images. Your final images are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll them in now. Okay, thank you.